Yo guys, what's up? Carolyn here, and today I'm going to be reviewing 86 rated future team of the week, Rodrigo Bentenko. So heading into the player bio, he is 6 foot 2 tall with medium medium walk rate, right footer primarily. Not that it matters though, because apart from the 4 star skills, he does have that boosted 5 star weak foot. So honestly, a huge dub from EA to be able to do that on the future team of the week cards, and honestly, it works out for the better. Now, when it comes down to the preferred position, he can play sentiment and sentiment only, but I'm going to be trying him as sentiment and CDM. When it comes down to the attribute details, the pace, I decided to go with the architect himself to make him lengthy, of course, because it's for some reason that's all people care about. But on basic, the pace 75 is decent. The shooting is honestly pretty decent as well, except for the finishing being 62. That is terrible. The passing on the card looks sensational. It's going to have 93 vision with 83 crossing. 78 free kick accuracy with 99 short pass, 92 long pass, and 85 curve. The dribbling looks pretty decent as well, even the agility and balance. It's got 76 agility with 80 balance, 84 reactions, 90 ball control with 89 dribbling, and 88 composure. When it comes down to the defending stats, again, very, very good stats apart from the hitting accuracy. He's got 85 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness with 88 stand tackle, and 85 slide tackle. When it comes down to the physical, he does have 88 jumping with 94 stamina, so I am expecting him to last the full 90, and he does. And speaking of 94 stamina, he does also have 94 strength with 89 aggression. Unfortunately, no traits on the card, but like I said, I'm going to play this guy at centre mid and at CDM for a few games in a 4 one 2 2 narrow. So without further ado, let's get straight into the gameplay highlights with 86 rated future team of the week, Rodrigo Bentanko. So straight up the bat here, Delict gets it into Bentanko, 1-2 with Frankie de Jong, he gets it back of course, gets it into Dembele, continues his run, Bentanko in the box on the 5 star weak foot and the finish was terrible, he does have extremely low finishing but honestly I was expecting it to be better than that. And it's not going to be a review if we don't test out his long passing and a very good long pass there into Mendy, perfectly weighted into his path on the 5 star weak foot if I'm not mistaken and unfortunately Dembele scuffs the shot miserably. Heading into the next clip, Benton Ko gets it, little Lacroqueta and a brilliant pass into Mane, was able to take it, turn and shoot and unfortunately he couldn't end up scoring but a very good pass from Benton Ko to send him in behind. Here though again Benton Ko Brilliant skill just to test out the strength and he does pretty well to hold off uh, Federico Valverde and he's gonna get the ball back here and Unfortunately that pass is intercepted, but eventually we're gonna win the ball back with Benton Cole makes a good interception Keeps that run going make sure that he got to the ball at 89 aggression really coming up clutch and keep the ball Some neat tidy turns and he moves the pass on to Dembele who unfortunately undoes all our hard work but we are going to score a very good goal here, a pretty decent finish. He intercepts the ball himself, good interception, runs into the box, goes for goal, finds it back of the net. Excellent finish by Rodrigo Bentenko, which is honestly surprising because the finishing is terrible. But regardless, a good interception and pretty good control to get into the box and shoot and score. Heading into the next clip in this match, Rodrigo gets it and launches it through for Mane with a brilliant pass, the one-on-one, -on -one, green timed and the keeper makes a good save, but a brilliant pass by Rodrigo. And of course we do need to test more of his defending as he makes a fantastic tackle here, unfortunately the pass was terrible, but a good tackle to win the ball back. On to the next match, Dembele gets it into Bentanko, but Mane makes a run, little Lacroqueta and a brilliant pass into space. Perfectly rated for Sadio Mane, who is able to hit it first time and find the back of the net. 1-0 and Mane does get us another assist, or actually I think the first assist was Bentenko. Moving on to the next clip in this match, Bentenko 1-2 with Sadio Mane and he spreads it out wide for Mendy and we can go forward from there. Dion gets it back into Bentenko, another good pass into Mane, gets it back into Bentenko, is really controlling things here and unfortunately that tight throw is a little heavy. But again, just going to test out the dribbling, give him a chance to redeem himself. 1-2 with Usman Dembele, gets into the box, goes for goal, keeper saves it, but couldn't keep it out and Sadio Mane is there for a tap-in. Here, a ridiculous pass by Bentenko, cuts inside, takes it over the top to perfection, measured perfectly for the foot of Dembele, takes the touch, brilliant control and a smashing finish, but watch a ball by Bentenko to start off with. Again, just going to test out the heading on this card, jumps up, wins the header against his man, and we can go forward. Here Perisic gets it into Bentenko, gets it into Mane and he's going to continue his run, gets the pass back from Mane, takes a touch, puts it across the box and Havertz is there with a tap in and Bentenko 
gets yet another assist in this match. Heading into this next clip in this match, Bentenko gets it, going to use that speed, get past one, get past two, goes for goal again on the 5 star weak foot, and again the finishing lets him down, not a good shot at all, and the keeper is there to make an easy save because it was his straight at him. But he does have a very good ability to drive through teams as he did there, and unfortunately I picked the wrong pass. But heading on to the next clip, Perisic finds Bentenko, gets past one, plays it into Usman Dembele, who is going to run through, cut inside, finesse it and score and Ben Tenkor is going to get yet another assist. So you guys can clearly tell the passing on this card is very good and another example of which it takes a touch and smashes it out wide, just skewers that pass out wide for Dembele who is able to get to it and cuts inside and is able to get a corner wash. but what a ball that is from Ben Tenkor. and here putting in his defensive chores wins the ball back with an excellent tackle, Mane turns, shoots and scores. I'm not too sure that it counts as an assist for Bentenko, but what a tackle resulting in us actually scoring a goal and another very good tackle here just puts himself in the way, slides across and wins the ball back. Heading into the second half of this match, Bentenko 1-2 is Dembele, gets the ball back and gets going to test out the dribbling here and he, wow, okay, he actually keeps it very close to his body, still has it here and I just need to try to get that pass out to Perisic and I overdid it. But here, Perisic makes a good tackle, plays it over the top again, testing out the heading, he wins the header, gets it into Mane who smashes it, past the goalkeeper, green timed and gets Bentenko, yet another assist. Here we get a penalty, I'm taking with Bentenko and it's dinked down the middle, Van der Sar dived, not that much of a dinked penalty, he kind of hit it pretty hard for a chip shot, not gonna lie, but we get a goal with Bentenko nonetheless. Heading into the next match, Ben Tenko has it here, going to just drive past his team, get past one, get past two, what a run this is, and finally you get into the box, and he smashes it into the back of the net with a very good finish on the 5 star weak foot, and we do end up scoring. Here again, on the 5 star weak foot, takes the touch, and goes for goal at the near post, and like I said, the finishing on the card isn't great, but a decent shot nonetheless, not expecting it to go in, it would have been a stretch for Ben Tenko to score that, but works the goalkeeper pretty well following a pretty good touch. Speaking of good touches, another one here. Dembele plays it over the top, Bentenko using a speed, gets in behind Alex Tellez, beautiful ball across to the far post and Kai Havertz is there and he scores the header and I think he died afterwards. Moving on to the next clip here, Bentenko, 1-2, keeps going, stumbles through, to Stegen saves it and Higuain is there to smash in the winner. Honestly, no need for me to kick it so hard but I was just gonna make sure that it went in and Bentenko Courtesy of Bentenko, sorry, we get another goal. But that was the last clip of this video and with that being said, it is time to review the card. So like I said, I used them as CDM and Sentiment and I gotta say, this card is absolutely sensational. I know he's like the second best red you can get, but honestly, I've opened two sets of reds and both of them, I managed to get Rodrigo Bentenko. One on my brother's account, one on my account. So yeah, I got him in both, so honestly, he seems to be kind of common, I'm not gonna lie. But with that being said, I'm gonna go through the player bio, just have a look at his goal return, and then have a look at the stats and rank each category out of 10. So heading into the player bio, you guys will see 5 games, 3 goals, 6 assists is honestly absolutely sensational from a sentiment position. And hit the post as well from a long shot, unfortunately I just couldn't find that clip for the life of me, but regardless, a very very good goal return, 9 goal contributions in 5 games from Sendermud and CDM is ridiculous. Now, heading into the attribute details, the pace on the card is fantastic. Straight off the bat, not that fast, but he is in Sendermud, you don't really need him to be the quickest of players, and you aren't expecting him to be the quickest of players either, but when you get this guy the ball and just drive through teams, because of that lengthy um, accelerate tap that he has, he is just going to sprint through them and you are not going to get caught. So for the pace, an 8 out of 10 I feel is worth it. Shooting, the long shots are decent, the finishing is horrendous. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a 7 out of 10, I feel as though it is worth it. It's not terrible, but inside the box this man cannot score unless you give him like 17 chances a game. So shooting 7 out of 10. The passing, however, is sensational, guys. The long passing on this card, as well as the short passing, the tiki taka ability, as well as the ability to just sit back and spray the long passes, is ridiculous. So for passing, I'm gonna go ahead and give him an 8.9 out of 10. Dribbling is sensational. Unfortunately, his agility and balance, and obviously his height in game, does kind of reduce the dribbling ability. But all in all, 
Shooting on the guard is pretty solid and he does get an 8.9 out of 10. Defending is sensational, stand tackles and slide tackle alike, as well as his interceptions, they are all fantastic and because of his height he's able to get to everything much quicker than other players because of the long legs as well. So for defending, an 8.7 out of 10 and physical, this man is very strong, he's easily able to hold off players and he does last the full 90. So for physical, I'm gonna go ahead and give him an 8.7 out of 10 as well. Is this card worth the 50,000 coins you would pay for him? Yes, 100%. This guy is one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the Premier League and he can play in a CDM position as well just to hold down the fort and anchor your team and allow them to go forward. So honestly, this card is worth the 50k for me. If you got him red, do not put him in an SPC. I'm warning you, do not put him in an SPC. Put him in your team or put him on the bench at least because this card is very good and he's definitely not fodder. But with that being said, there's camp style. I would say the architect camp style to make him lengthy. And yeah, with that being said, I bring an end to the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.